Can we talk about what you said last week? Yo, man. I don't remember what I said yesterday. You spoke of an amusement park. Playland. Well, tell me about it. There was rides. All kinds of rides. Grub. Sometimes the best grub you could imagine. You said that fighting was the fundamental part of the daily ritual. King of the Reds. Let's drop Playland for a moment and talk about what happened at the restaurant. Sure. Were you angry at those people, Gary? Didn't even know them. What was going on in your head? Nothing. The people that were in line in front of you, the victims, were they stopping you from getting food? I had the pangs. Pangs. Tell me about that. Pangs hurt like mad. We was always brawling, so it'd be okay. Then the stranger came, and I was back out on the streets. When I was in the restaurant, something clicked in my head. That's why I had to post-mortem those people. Damn, I miss Playland. Gary, we've been doing sessions every day for nine weeks. If we're going to make any progress at all, we have to separate fantasy from reality. You didn't grow up in an amusement park. You're substituting a delusional fantasy as a means of covering the actual basis of your anger. Your records indicate that you ran away from home at age 12. You lived on the streets. Let's try to get to the root of your feelings of abandonment and loneliness. Doc, let me level with you. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Quatrain 32, Century 1. Through a threshold of light, the savage land spits youth most murderous. Amid machines that amuse comes a reckoning for the man twice blessed. Fork Falls, South Dakota. Gary Lanning shot and killed nine people in a fast food burger joint. When the cops found him, he was stuffing his face with french fries. When Gary's psychiatric record was released to the public, it said that he had delusional fantasies of time spent in an amusement park called Playland. Of course, that was before he stabbed his shrink in the heart with a pen. Are youth most murderous, like Gary, part of a guac experiment? That's what I'm here to find out. Ready? Foster. Hey, it's okay. You were right, man. This place has abnormal electrical ion levels. This way. The quadrain talks about a threshold of light. We've seen the guan create quantum pockets before. And Gary Lanning told the psychiatrist that he went through some kind of portal. Maybe this is it. We need to be very careful. I'm worried about Einstein's definition of relative synchronism. Refresh my memory. It's space and time scales are based on the velocity of light. 
But there's no way of knowing exactly what's going to happen on the other side. I mean, you could be trapped, you could be killed. Anything. Stop trying to cheer me up, Eddie. <laughs> Man, it's numb in here. All right. This is the place. Let me get this straight, Eddie. Cross-dimensional travel requires two things. A portal to pass through and a power source to get you through that door. Exacto mundo. And, uh... This is your power source, brother. It's gonna create an electromagnetic field. It'll alter your gravity and allow you to pass through. I hope. You don't feel anything. Probably not. It's changing the molecular structure around you. But look, there's no guarantee that the portal you're going to use to come back to this reality is going to be in the same place on the other side. So you're going to need this ohm meter to find it. And the electromagnet to power my way back through. That's right. Okay, let's do this. All right. You got to run as fast as you can right at this spot here. What if this doesn't work? I always go ride the bumper cars. Buddy, be careful. Yeah, baby. off or you bleed. Don't move. Fall in, brawlers. Who are you? My name's Cade. There was a boy who spoke of this place. His name was Gary. You the stranger? Who? The stranger. No. You were red? I'm friendly to the blues. Try something funny? You'll be bleeding. We can use an extra brawler. Against the reds, we'll give you grub in return. These reds, they like you? Same age, all that? Yeah. We ask the questions, not you. I'm starving, man. Me too. Five days without a win? This never would have happened when Gary was the captain. Gary's not here, is he? I'm sorry, Elias. Stop crying, squawk, squawk. Ugh. You got anything to say? What's your plan, Smarty? Well, I've been analyzing what's gone wrong. We know what's wrong! We ain't got the coaster! Well, I, I suggest that we split the squad. 
One for a direct frontal assault and the other for a sneak attack behind the midway. We have two guards behind the midway. Well, we'll keep two brawlers on reserve. We'll hide them behind the midway and have them jump the blues after the fighting started. She can fight as good as you talk. Gary went on a spree, huh? That's an understatement. He was a good rocker. Many brawls. He killed ten people. Ten post-mortems. No squawk squawk, that's for sure. Was Gary a blue? Red. King of the Reds. I'm king of the blues. How'd you get to be king? Pain for gain. The best fighter leads the set. If Gary was in here, how did he get out? The stranger took him. The stranger? An adult. I thought you were the stranger come to take Peter away. What did the stranger look like? Adult. Like you. How did you all get here in the first place? Long time ago. Years, maybe. We're runaways, all of us. I was living on Pike Street, Seattle, in this abandoned house. I got rounded up, thought it was the cops, and the next thing I knew, I was here. Dead brawlers! Peter! Reds up the middle! Got some behind Midway, too! You guys go behind the midway. Take two other brawlers for muscle. Straight six defense back up on two. Slingers take position. Let's brawl! Oh. Mm -hmm.
Man with the gun. What are you doing? Just looking at the feeder. Feeder stops the pangs. It always been here. As far as I know. Does it always feed you after a fight? What about the Reds? How do they eat? There's another feeder on either side. Gives loser gruel. And that's why the Reds attacked your camp, to get the good grub. Uh, they'll never get it, not with you here. I came here to find out what made Gary kill ten people. I think I figured it out. You're being turned into walking time bombs and set loose in the real world. <sighs> Whoa, brother, that's crazy. Don't you ever think about who's doing this to you? What's the point? What's the point? The point is you could end up like Gary. A murderer shot dead by a security guard. Look, I don't have the proper instruments to get us back to reality. But if we work together, maybe we can find a way out of this place. Who says I want to leave here? Where I came from was hell. Parents, cops, always kicking my ass. At least in here I get fed. I understand. I had the same kind of background. Then you know what it's like. I do. But you have to save your fighting for the real enemies. I will never work with a red. Never. You're gonna take Peter, aren't you? I'm not the stranger, Don. He can't survive out there. There's too many jerks, too many cops. He wasn't meant to live in that world. I don't want to hurt anybody. I need your help. I need you to convince Peter to get out of here. Right now, it's mostly sticks and stones, but sooner or later, somebody's going to die. Yeah, well, what do you know? At least in here, we're free. This whole park is just one big experiment. You're like rats going after cheese. Too blind to see that you're in a maze. Haven't you seen the surveillance cameras? Yeah. I know what this place is. And now I have to find a way to get out. A little teamwork would help. Maybe he's a stranger come to take Peter away. Peter's not good enough for the stranger. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. He's got his gas. Shut up! I should never have listened to you. We're grubbing gruel because of you. Well, if this stranger takes Peter, it'll make it easier for us to beat the blues. The stranger's walking the midway with Peter. Now's a good time to attack. No, I strongly advise you against it. The Adol has the weapon. We're surely to lose any type of confrontation. Stop talking! Damn it, you're driving me crazy! I've got an idea. What exactly are we looking for? There's a camera on the feeder. If it's recording, it has to be transmitting to a receiver somewhere. My guess is there's an outpost, a control center to record data. Who's doing this to us? A group called the Gua. They a tough set? Yeah, they're a tough set. My guess is that the stranger is a Gua operative. He takes the best of you back into reality.
feel sick. It's okay. You know who they are? They were blues. They didn't want to brawl anymore. They tried to get out. We never knew what happened to them. What do we do now? Let's keep moving. Careful. What's wrong? I sense red. Almost there, Peter. One here. Bring a trick. You're for a beat, Red. Please don't, don't hurt me. Take it easy, Peter. We have to take him back. Give him a good smack. And... No, please. Why don't we ask him some questions? Peter will give plenty if we bleed him. Please, no. Nobody's gonna beat you. I'm leader of the blues. Then act like a leader. I want grub. You're gonna want to see this, brother. Make sure he doesn't get away. They're extraterrestrials. Right. They want to take over, Peter. One of the ways to do that is to cause violence and mayhem out there. Using you. Look at the graph. Gary! See, Gary's aggression bar is full. So let him out. Peter! Yours is almost there. My guess is they figure you'll be the next time bomb. You see, Peter the Guar, the set that I'm after. Well, I'm after Reds. And I got one. Just shut up! Hey! You're in for a little smack! Don't you get it, Peter? That's what they want you to do. They want you to beat each other up. I got a plan to get us out of here. Come on, everything I've said so far is true. Trust me.
Why they let you go without a bash? They want a meeting. They found something. Something in one of the shacks. Says it has to do with why we're here. I know why we're here. We're here to bash. Well, maybe the Adol has figured a way to get us out. Back home. I've been here 900 sleeps. I don't care about home. I think you should consider a meeting. You never know what might happen. Don't you have any food stored away? There's never been any need. Peter always provides. Well, if we had bashed that red instead of sending him free, we'd have grub right now. We sent him away for a reason, Peter. Hey! The others have mad pangs. They want a spree. I call for the spree, not them. What's a spree? It's a raid on the others to keep the feeder happy. If we don't spree, we might lose some brawlers to the reds. Wait for morning for an answer. Yeah. Got the chills about this one. Why are you worried? I mean, the Reds agreed to meet just like Cade said they would. I don't know why, but I believe this guy, Cade. What are you thinking? About out there, the real world. What about it? Well, what if what Kate said was right? What if out there isn't all that bad? What if it's beautiful? It's ugly out there. Always was, always will be. Elias, what do you want? The intention was to have a summit, a discussion. On how we can get out. Yeah, right. You know there's no way out. But still, I don't think we're supposed to bring any weapons. You ever think this could be a trap, smart guy? Man, you're stupid sometimes. What's going on? I'm ready. Don't you think that's going to send the wrong message? Who cares? I ain't about to trust him. Let's go! You're being used. You were taken from the streets and put in here as part of a test. You've accepted it. Survived as best you could. Made up your own teams. Your own slang. Boring. Let him chirp. I want to stop what happened to Gary from happening to you. We need to get you out. Each and every one of you into a safe environment. Undo the damage that's been done. What damage? I feel fine. Yeah. Yeah. Peter spoke of your legend, that a stranger comes and takes certain people away. That means there's a portal somewhere in the park. We may have found the shack with the way out, but if everybody keeps fighting, we'll never get out. We have to join forces. Never. Listen to him. What do you know? You're just a foot warmer. Take that back or brawl. Hey, easy. What do you want? I want to get you out. You lie. You want the feeder for yourself. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. The adult's right. What? I was there when they found the shack. And the story goes that a stranger led Gary into a shack. We must work together if we want to get out of here. Oh, Shut up, uh, Henry. No, listen. Loose. You listen to the Adolfs, you'll die of the pangs. I know the ache that gnaws in the pit. Come over here and join my set and we'll grow. We can find a way out. You'll post-mortem if you listen to him. Loose. This is your chance to win. Come over to the red side and we'll get the grub. Don't listen to him. I promise you, we're gonna brawl and then we're gonna grub. What are you guys doing? Go back to your camp, 
prepare for a brawl. Yes. Best brawlers. I never should have listened to you. You did the right thing. We're gonna bash tonight. Peter, no. Quiet, Don. You wanna stop me? You'll have to use the gun. I'll go to the Reds. I'll speak to them. No. Let him try. Why are you trusting the Adolf? Well, because he's right. They're turning us into monsters. You're changing, Peter. I can feel it. Shut up. Hey. It wants more than that, Peter. That's the game here in Playland. Then hit me! I won't give in to your master. Here comes your grub. Hope you enjoy it. What's going on? You came with White Flag. No, oh, that's a little trick of his. <laughs> what do you want? Hey, hey, take it easy. I've had enough of you. Why are you here? Elias is crazy. He beat me. That's what you get. <laughs> I'm afraid to go back. He'll kill me. Too bad. Hey, Peter, what's happened to you? You always used to take the others in. He tried to set us up. Don't make me go back. Too bad, loser. Peter, please. Please, don't make me go back. <laughs> please. I just want to go home. We'll work something out. <laughs> Nobody move! And we put the gun down. <laughs> Elias thought I was weak, but now I have the power. Now I, now I can't have shot you. Henry, put down the damn gun! No, no. I spoke at the meeting to make you think that I was on your side. <laughs> you fell for my trick. It's my turn to rule. Stay back! Or I'll bleed you deep. This is my set. You won't tell me what to do. Wait! Come on! Stay out! Stay back! Stay back! I'll do it again. The fear is mine. 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 How did it feel? How did what feel? It's a shooter. I didn't want a shooter. But it felt good. I bet it did. We have the power now. And we sure got a lot of blues to join our side when I got the gun. We'll rest easy for a while. We won't be making a play anytime soon. On the contrary, I think we should send out a team right away. Why? I chased them out of the coaster, but the Adolf's liable to launch an attack to get his gun back. We're guarded. You're an idiot. What did you say? The Adolf's clever enough to get past your guards anytime he pleases. You called me an idiot. We have plenty now. But we have to think about tomorrow. The feeder's gonna want something much bigger than what happened today. We mustn't disappoint the feeder! Yeah! The feeder! Yeah! The feeder! Peter and the Adult. What? We have the gun. Let's use it. The Adult won't be so easy to post mortem. He's flesh and bone. I say we stay. I don't care what you say.
We have to check out that shack. Not before I post Henry. An eye for an eye, huh? We never got a chance to explore that room. That's the way out of here. If you let me bash the little punk, Don would still be alive. You bash Henry, they bash you. Pretty soon everyone's dead. When's it gonna end? I don't care about anyone else. I cared about Don. Come well, on, we gotta check out that shack, Peter. They have my gun. Hands up! Hands up for you, Dad. Get what? We can get out, Henry. You heard him! Move! Some real strength. Put the gun down. Kill him. I can't. Kill him. 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 Where's it gonna end, Peter? You want to kill someone? Kill me. She died by my gun. Move out of the way. Move. No. Move. See how much the feeder gives you for taking a man's life in cold blood. Shoot if that's what you believe. We're gonna get out of here. 
found the way out. It's in the shack. Playland is over. It's time for the real world. Park security thinks I'm a nut job. We gotta figure out what to do with these kids. We can get them to tell their stories, Eddie. Front for the tanky! Get up, boys! I know that desire for revenge can be all-consuming. Peter had the strength to renounce violence, in part because I promised him a better world on the outside. Wish I could have delivered. Message to the aliens. You've wasted your time on this experiment. We don't need a feeder to turn our kids into monsters. We're doing a damn fine job on our own. <laughs> 